Question 20. So, uh, we're told that the number of bees after week 5 were 1,200. And two years later, so after year 6 and then after year 7, the number of bees are down to 900. Now, because we're told they're decreasing exponentially, that really means it's sort of following a geometric progression. In other words, what do we multiply 1,200 to get something here, and then multiply by the same multiplier to end up with 900 two years later? So in other words, our multiplier is such that we've got the 1,200 times something times something again to get to 900. So in other words, 1,200 times x squared equals 900. So dividing both sides by the 1,200, we get x squared being 3 quarters, square root 3 quarters, we get x being root 3 over 2. So what we're saying is the 1,200 multiplied by root 3 over 2 would give us the number of bees after year 6, and then multiply that by root 3 over 2 gives us our 900 bees at the end of year 7. Now, we're being asked to work out the number of bees at the start of week 2. So just do your little diagram to gather your thoughts. So not at the start of week 5 or 4 or 3 or 2. So we're back 3 jumps. 1, 2, 3. So anyway, we were multiplying by root 3 over 2 to decrease the number of bees going forwards. So we're going to divide by root 3 over 2 to get the number of bees going backwards in time and it's dividing by root 3 over 2 to the power of 3 because we've got 3 jumps, 1, 2, 3. So doing that on your calculator you get this number of bees. Clearly you can't get part of a bee, so round this up or down, um, rounding up made sense to me, but 1847 would have been fine, so 1848 bees. So just to clarify, we've got 1848 bees at the start of week 2, multiply by root 3 over 2 to here, multiply by root 3 over 2 to here, multiply by root 3 over 2 to here, that's our 1,200, and then multiply by root 3 over 2 to uh, start of week 6, and root 3 over 2 again takes us to our 900. So, final answer, 1848.